The life of ESMA students is quite simple. Our duty contains eating, sleeping, practicing, and paper. We all acknowledge that writing a paper is a process of suffering, internal and external. You write a thesis, then you deny yourself and rewrite your thesis. Then you agree with yourself, then you are denied by your professor. Such a painful process. But have you ever thought about escaping this kind of suffering? What if someone can substitute you for suffering, yet still help you to achieve your goal? That relates to the news I'm talking about today. In November 2022, an artificial intelligence chatbot called ChatGPT was launched publicly, which arouses the attention of the public. In earlier January, the largest U.S. school district decided to restrict the ChatGPT website on school devices and networks in case of cheating and plagiarism. Is that really possible? I mean, we all agree that artificial intelligence is way better than humans at mathematics and algorithm, but is it really mature enough for writing papers and handling human thinking process? Well, let's try one of our journals and see how it goes. So we type in the criteria here. The logic and the structure are clear and very correct. From the student perspective, I feel like it's a terrific journal, and I am not sure if my writing level is beyond this. Well, this journal is about some existing knowledge and analysis based on the book. Let's try something ChatGPT may not know very well. For example, the very first journal, The Life in Eastman. Let's tap it in and see how it goes. Well, it seems that ChatGPT also knows Life in Eastman very well. Very clear logic and structure, and skillful application of academic words. As we can see, ChatGPT is already mature at dealing with some basic journals and homework. Great! Now we successfully escape the suffering of papers. But why am I now feeling my life so empty? Every knowledge I gained in university study, I suffered and tortured myself. But they are all meaningless with the existence of ChatGPT, who is much better than me at anything. The point I want to make here is that the birth of ChatGPT leads to nihilism in modernity. To illustrate this point. First, we have to think about a question: Why can writings in universities easily be substituted by machines? The direct cause is the objectifying process of modern education. For modern society, the purpose of education is to provide a sufficient high-quality labor force for social production. Therefore, in order to effectively manufacture talents as high-quality labor force for society, today's pedagogy is highly unified, stereotyped, and mechanized. For example, the grading process deprives the differences between students and turns their work and effort into the mechanized calculation. Thank you, Professor Mackin, for not objectifying and alienating your students with grades. So, as a fruit of modern education. Papers and writings also cannot escape this process of objectification. Students' goal today is no longer about how to gain knowledge and improve myself through the paper, but how to satisfy instructors in order to get a higher grade. The fact is, nowadays instructors in schools are obsessed with logic. And reasons in formal writing, which turns almost everything, even human writing, into mathematics and calculation. Here, I want to introduce our EAP materials, which shows the ideal structure of paper. Listen, Professor Yusman, I'm not blaming your pedagogy. It's just a common illness of modern education. Okay, so let's look what we have here. We get all the ingredients for a successful A plus paper, like the main ideas. The evidence which must emerge before analysis, and a linking sentence. And look at those proper nouns. It's almost like X Y Z in a formula. Once you use that X Y Z, indeed, it effectively enhances your writing speed and your writing quality. But instead of creating new thoughts, it puts student thoughts into a fixed framework, almost turning the function of thoughts into a machine. But humans are not perfect machines. They have emotions leading to errors. Therefore, no wonder why papers today can be handled perfectly by a machine like ChatGPT. AI is a perfectly functioning machine, just like the modern education system itself is objectifying as a machine. By knowing that, the next question we might concern about is that: What ends will machines like ChatGPT lead us to? The answer is, unfortunately, nihilism. 
During the first industrial revolution, the steam engine replaced manual labor, and now in the 21st century, chat GPT started to substitute humans' mental labor, their thinking process. As Nietzsche said, man, the bravest of animals and the one most accustomed to suffering, does not repudiate suffering as such. He desires it, he even seeks it out, provided he is shown a meaning for it, a purpose of suffering. So, for humans, to think and pursue the truth is a process of ascetic suffering, and humans endow this process with different meanings to make their life meaningful. However, AI deprives all the meanings of human suffering. When I am suffering for the paper due tomorrow, my classmate can generate 10 papers in a blink with ChatGPT. If AI can gain all results without any suffering, does the sufferings of humans still contain any meaning? And until now, we've mainly talked about how AI can substitute humans in education, humanity, and in science. What if AI can also substitute humans in art? You might think that's impossible. But look at those paintings generated by AI. There are also already AI composers and AI singers. Emotions are also manipulatable and analyzable data, easy for AI to learn. If AI can substitute human suffering everywhere, and there is no need for suffering anymore, where else can humans find meaning? As Dostoevsky said in Notes from Underground, 2 times 2 is 4 is no longer life, but the beginning of death. Consequently, the birth of ChatGPT brings no longer meaning to human life, it only brings the death of meanings, the death of human life. So, after talking about so much nihilism that AI brought us, can we stop the use of AI, the science, to regain our meaning? Let's look back into history again. In feudal society, there were slaves destroying the production tools. When the concept of time first appeared, workers strikes against the clocks. In the 19th century, some people boycotted the steam machine, and in 1919s, some American teachers prohibited computers in classrooms. Too many examples. The rise against science and modernity all to no avail. The process of modernity is like a rabbit hole. We can resist AI or other productive tools once they are designed and invented. And once humans realize their power, they will use them endlessly to enhance their productivity. Back to this case. If we want to reduce the possibility for students to cheat with chat GPT, the education system must do some adjustment, like making the assignments diverse instead of focusing only on the paper, like maybe a video. However, the whole education system is still objectified. In the future, there will be video GPT, music GPT, and even human GPT. After all, you can't even determine whether the draft of this video is written by our chat GPT. Who knows? Enough. For now, we are writing the paper, just enjoy the happiness of having some meaningful suffering. And that's all. Thanks for watching.